Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Laguna's Musings. If this is the first episode you are seeing, I'll kind of give you an idea of the format. This is kind of a free-form thing where I talk about various subjects of interest that hopefully interest you as well. Pose some questions, answer those questions, and leave them up for you to answer. If you guys feel like chiming in, you can throw your answers down in the comments and we can have a little bit of conversation and maybe just get to know a little bit more of each other and kind of share some cool experiences. So... The episode's topic today is music that takes you back when you listen to it. And if, if that doesn't sound clear to you, it's just you hear a song and it takes you back to a certain moment in your life. Uh, you know, it's a very profound memory. That's basically what we're discussing. Is Van Halen, Van Halen. Now, this is their first album. Give you a little background. They're kind of... Uh, uh, they're described as a hair metal band, which I don't really think is accurate because I think they really kind of stand apart from the typical hair metal bands like Poison and Motley Crue. I feel like Van Halen's more of just a, a rock and roll heavy metal band, somewhere in between there. But anyway, this um, album, their first album, was released in 1978, debut album, and if you've listened to the radio or have any friends who are into rock and roll in the past whatever it is you've heard tracks off this album um you've likely heard their cover of you really got me and uh the famous eddie van halen guitar solo eruption which leads into that so those are the ones i'm sure most people who aren't really familiar or acquainted with van halen have heard now this is, uh, yeah, this is a big one because um, for those of you who don't know me, my mother was born with um, a heart condition, a serious one. She's had to have several open heart surgeries throughout her entire life. And when I was 10 years old, this would be 18 years ago now, um, she had to have another open heart surgery. <clears throat> Pardon me. And we had to drive to the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota so she could have this open heart surgery and this was uh, I mean I understand the gravity of the situation more now but then it was still obviously a big deal there you know the potential for her dying on the table is, is high it's it's a serious procedure so I was kind of aware of the gravity of the situation and at that time, I remember we were trying to raise money to to go for food, gas, and uh, lodging. You know, health insurance was going to take care of the procedure because my mom's had a heart condition her entire life, so she's had health insurance. But we had to raise money to get there and, you know, eat along the way. And I remember being really... It, it really was a moment where I had to come out of my shell... Because we'd, 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 we'd be those people standing outside of like the grocery store with like a donation can with my mom's picture on it and talking about what we needed to do and asking people if they wanted to help us out. So I remember being 10 years old and having to really kind of come out of my shell and talk to strangers and ask them for money to help us make this trip. And it was hard to do. I didn't have the conviction that I would have now knowing that it's really to support my mom. Whereas back then, it was really difficult because I was just a 10-year-old kid who felt really awkward doing this. So that's just to give you an idea of the uh, who I was at that time. I was young, 10 years old, and just really hadn't found myself in the world. So that's where it takes me. It takes me back to that trip. We're going to have a special guest, my sister, Michelle Messick, who was on the trip along with. I'd like her to kind of share some of her memories kind of give you guys a different take on the experience see what she remembers specifically and uh, the differences therein so let's see what she has to say by trip memories are pretty bleak on the way to Minnesota I remember feeling really really stressed out and uh, not really knowing how to feel but trying to remain positive I always tried to remain positive but the, on the way to Minnesota, I can't really put 
any of the music uh, with with any of the feelings or anything. And I don't really can't really remember music on the way because there was a lot of other underlying emotions on the way back. Though, mom had come out of her surgery; she was uh, gonna be okay. So it was a different energy on the way back, and I could hear the music, and it was uplifting and fun and it was kind of an adventure and it, it, there was a lot of relief I mean mom wasn't with us on the way back she went and stayed with grandma but on the way back it was just a lot a, a bit a lot different energy we were all really drained but also just trying to get home um, yeah and in listening to Van Halen all the way through I, I there was other albums but really that's the main album that I can remember almost all the way through the trip over and over and just running with the devil you know it was just you, you know it came back around it came through the end and it like zoomed in kind of kind of like a horn you know and you're just like driving we were just on the road the whole time so every time it came back around boom 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 just felt right and then you're on your way home it was a good it was a good vibe Back in those days, my dad had a 1976 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, white, just like this. And, I mean, it's a big part of my life. That's why you'll see it, Chuck driving it, and it's used in a lot of my artwork and stuff because that car is just classic to me, and it's a big part of my life. So that's the car we were driving to Minnesota, a 2,000-mile round trip. And I remember... My dad had some speakers set up and it got himself a nice CD player in there. And I think this was kind of a moment where my dad had a chance to kind of uh, become himself again and actually have an opportunity to have something that was his and kind of do his, do his own thing because we were pretty old. I was 10, my sister was 14, so we were kind of, we weren't as dependent as we may have been in the past and he could kind of breathe and be his own person again. That's really how I feel. And he had a CD player in there and some and some cool speakers set up. And he had a bunch of albums. I think he just went and bought albums that he loved from the past and just loaded them up in the car. And, of course, one of those albums was Van Halen, Van Halen. So uh, the trip, a lot of it's a blur. Some of the clearest memories for me, pardon me, are listening to the music. There was a lot of driving to be done, and there's there's this funny thing. Well, yeah, so anyway, this whole time we'd be listening to music, and Van Halen, Van Halen is one of the albums we'd be listening to, and it's the one that really stuck in my head. But just let me give you a little more flavor on this drive here. So my dad, driving all this way, was kind of getting exhausted His like because the cruise control in the Cadillac didn't work. I <laughs> the cruise control. Yeah, what do you remember about that? Oh, no, it's just uh, Dad's fab fabulous engineering of, um, all right, you're going to be the cruise control. You didn't want to push the button. You know, Dad got something. No, it didn't work. Pain. It didn't work. The no, no, the, the, the gas pedal. He didn't want to yeah, push yeah, the, the gas pedal. Yeah, yeah, but the cruise control actually didn't work in the right, car. Right, right. Okay, so he, wanted, he didn't want to push the gas pedal with his foot. So he put the armrest in the middle down, and uh, you're here in the passenger seat, and you got to put this cool doily stick there on the gas pedal, and hold it down just right with the right amount of pressure. And if you started slowing down, he'd tell you. You got pretty good at it, though. You I was mean? not good at it. I got distracted. I guess I, guess I was pretty good at yeah, it. Yeah, you were better at it than okay, I was. I could maintain. Oh, and you were at an age, too, where you probably just... All right. Yeah, deal whereas with it. I'm just like... La, la, la. I don't want to do this. Crap. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Getting back to the music. Um, specifically, one memory I really have strongly... Uh, Van Halen Van Halen on this trip is we were in a parking garage and it was late at night we must have been at the hospital and I don't know if it was pre or post surgery I don't know but uh, we were in there in the hospital and I s distinctly remember that iconic opening sound of Atomic Punk, you know, that ride, Alex, Van, or yeah, Alex doing the ride, and then the, on the guitar with the phase shifter, and just, that fucking song just, it fucking rocks, it kicks in, 
and we're there in the middle of the night in this parking lo- in this parking garage jamming it out and you know nobody rules these streets at night but me nobody so that that memory of being out in the streets at night listening to atomic punk is just so vivid in my mind that's the biggest one and of course i just remember being out there on the open highway and hearing the opening of running with the devil that boom 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 and just god that fucking album that whole album rocks and i can just i can place myself in specific places every time i hear it i can take myself to a a moment on that trip where i heard the song i don't it wasn't like I don't have bad vibes from it, you know, and I think that just stems from us always being pretty positive yeah. as a family. We yeah. were never really negative. My mom was never negative. I know, I know. It's it was she everything. She was 100% assured that she was going to be fine. All like, the no time. If it wasn't for if it wasn't for her positivity, I probably we probably all of our family's positivity, we wouldn't be the people we are. It's all positive. It reminds me of my dad. I lost my dad going on 5 years ago and it's just great memories with him and fun memories, you know, goofing around in the hotel. Uh, he he gave me his headband and his uh, vest and he gave me his lit cigarette. And he had me hold it and he gave me a cup and he's like, hey, all right, all right, no, now act like you're wasted. And we take a picture. It just, there's a lot of fun memories. Uh, it, it was a... Uh, a lot of good things, a lot of good memories from that trip. Well, I mean, the Motel 6 guy, we were, we stayed at a Motel 6, and uh, we had, like, the the double room thing where there was, like, the extension yeah. to the kitchen and the li- the extra living area and stuff. And I, um, I remember that that's the first time I ever saw Freddy Krueger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you were in the other room watching TV, and, like, we were flipping through the channels, and it popped oh. up, and it was... It was part three, the Dream Warriors, because I remember it was the scene where he's like puppeteering the guy, where he like gets his veins out, yeah, and he's like gnarly. walking him down the hall like that, and he like he gets into the edge of the building and then he cuts him, and the guy falls off the building, and I remember gnarly. I was freaked out, and you were fucking with me. <laughs> I was like, "Don't put that on away." You like switch the channel back to it, yeah, just to fuck with me. It freaked me out. But then it made you love it. And that is a resounding yes, because as I said before, I was 10 years old. I hadn't really discovered myself as a person. I was very much in my shell still, and I had to grow a lot to to kind of rise to the occasion and deal with the situation at hand. Not like I did a whole lot, but for a 10 year old, it was a lot. But hearing Van Halen, Van Halen the whole time and having some good memories and good moments with it definitely impacted me and definitely affected my musical taste going on. Well, guys, if you want to respond to the questions in the comments, the questions were again, what music takes you back? Second question is, where does it take you? What emotions does it stir? The final question, Did the experience affect your musical taste? If you want to answer one or all of those questions, that'd be fantastic. Throw them in the comments. Just leave a comment in general. Let me know what you think of this format. I'll quit yakking at you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Laguna out. (laughs) 